hi hi guys and welcome back to my channel so as promised on my previous video i'm going to take you through the application process for ashesi's undergraduate courses so if you are ready let's just get straight into the video yes yeah, so we first log onto the website by simply typing ashesi university applications and then you can just click here then you get to the website so i'm a Ghanaian, so i confirm here and then whatever course you want to apply for like i explained earlier i should see offers eight undergraduate courses so just select which one of them you're applying to so i'm going to go with computer engineering then you have all the details all the documents you'll be needing here so after going through all of that you just click on apply now so here if you're a new applicant and you haven't registered with ashes yet you can click here this yellow tab to register but i already have an account so i'll just move forward and then enter my password so now that we are on the page for the application we first need to read this and understand what it means but i'll summarize it briefly so here in filling your application just be sure to put in um honest details of um, yourself and everything that you are going to be asked because i just he is definitely going to investigate to verify all the details that you are putting in so be sure to put in accurate information also note that this application comes with the scholarship application form as well so if you want to apply for financial aid i mean you fill that in the other section but for this video i'll just take you through the normal admission application and then in another video i'll talk about how to apply for the scholarship here in ashes university so with that yeah i think we can move on but one thing i should note is that ashesi does not discriminate against people when it comes to gender color religion i mean there's no form of discrimination when it comes to your application so um don't feel the need to put in inaccurate information or so hide anything just for you to be able to gain admission no just feel free and then put in accurate information about yourself and be sure that it won't go against you in any way so with this i think we can move to the next page so on the next page is about your profile where you put in details about yourself so you put in your name if you have a passport especially for people outside of ghana you put that information here your date of birth your place of birth and your citizenship and i think this place is quite easy to fill one thing you should also note is that if you want to apply for hsc's on campus housing you indicate it here and note that this thing this and note that applying for an on-campus or off-campus residence is part. Um, and note that applying for an on-campus housing is part of the application process. It's not done separately from this. So be sure, decide whether you want to be on-campus or off-campus and indicate your choice here. I have a video um, about Ashesi University campus store. In there, you get to know about the on-campus hostels and the facilities available. So find the link in the description section and then you can watch that video get familiar with the on-campus residences and if you decide you want to stay on campus just indicate it if you want to stay off campus as well just indicate it here if you've applied to a Chelsea university before you indicate that if any of your relatives or your family members have been to a Chelsea, you indicate that in this tab and then also note that if you have any organization that is sponsoring your education you should be sure to indicate that also here here in this session you are supposed to um, put in details of any disabilities or medical conditions that you may be having like i mentioned earlier it won't go against you in any way rather it will allow the institution to be able to make provision for any special um needs that you may have yeah and also if you're a refugee indicated here and in this session 
just note that Ashes University allows for um, two possible choices. So I already started with computer engineering, but you are allowed to choose a second choice in case you do not get the first choice. And one um, thing that you should note about this is that if you already selected an engineering course, you cannot select an engineering course as your second choice. So I chose computer um, engineering previously which means that i can go with any other program here except the engineering courses so i can decide to go with computer science and that would be a perfect match um, as a second choice here you put in your formal photo and these are the standards you should go by be sure you're not wearing makeup if you're a lady and your hair is not covering your face and um, also make sure that you have a plain white background and just all, all these standards make sure that your file is at most 2 mb and the passport size is 35 by 45 mm and with this you can always save um your application then you move to the next screen one thing i should note throughout the application is that this asterisk indicates that those parts are necessary for you to fill but where you do not find the asterisk it's quite optional but i think if you have those details you can still put it in there just to help with your application so we can move to the next page now and this page has to do with your contact details basically about your address what country you are living in your mobile details and also um, your level of education and also in this session you are going to put in information about your parents or your legal guidance note that it's not a must for you to put in the details of your parents just put in the details of somebody who can be rich in case um we want to find out anything about yourself or any, in case you want to contact anyone pertaining to your education so um, perhaps your parents are alive but then they are not the ones in charge of your education so if you have any legal guidance that have been approved by your parents you can put their contacts their name here and then the relationship you have with them their level of education and then their phone number and email this i think you should do your best to put in the phone number though it's optional and if you have their emails, you put it in there and you put in their job title and then your employer. It's better to put in details of two legal parents or guidance. So um, you, just like you feel for the first one, you feel for the second one as well. And then you can always save and move to the next page. So the next page has to do with your education and um, from your basic school to your current level of education or the... Um, educational qualifications that you've had i think they are necessary for you to put it in here so you indicate the level of education starting from basic education the program you offer the um the say if um you wrote bec that is the basic education certificate examination you indicate the certification here and then the um the year you started and when you graduated it's quite optional that's if you don't remember when you started studying and where you graduated but um, be sure to put in um where your financing source came from whether it was self-financed state finance and um, let's say free education or scholarship you indicated the language um, of study to and also this insert new block allows you to um, put in um, more box more blocks for you to be able to fill the other levels of education so put in as many as um you've been through and here yeah, you put in details of your principal from your senior high school so um be sure to put in their name their phone number and their email if you don't have any of these details at all i think you should have their full name and try to get their phone number and put it also here and if you've won any scholarships or harness um throughout your journey um of education be sure to put it in here i believe it's an opportunity for you to sell yourself so do not hide any information no matter how small or big it is just put in those details and i guess it would help with your application now this is also a very important aspect um where um i should say would like you to put in information if you've been dismissed or suspended from school before so 
just be honest don't hide any information even if the reason for your suspension was a bad one i believe that we all are learning and growing and um, throughout the various stages of our lives and so if and if um, you've been dismissed due to any bad cause i think you would have gone through a transformation and after indicating it they would expect you to um, write a letter um, explaining what happened um before the suspension or the dismissal and so i think you should just be honest putting details of what happened the punishment that came with it and be sure to highlight the transformation that you've gone through and how it has positively affected your life and made you a better person yes i think that part is very important just to indicate that you are going but in all make sure that you're putting in honest and accurate information so if you've applied to any other university both locally or internationally be sure to put in the name of the university here together with the course or the program that you've applied for and then you can always save and move to the next page so the next page has to do with um i think we should ignore this because i'm not filling um the form by myself but then um this exclamation marks actually means that there is something you haven't filled so be sure that at the end of your application you don't have any um exclamation marks so here you just select the kind of um education you was from your high school and then the exam center your index number even though the index number is not um compulsory i think you should do your best to put it in there because it's not something you should be forgetting by now and then the exam date if you remember you can also put that there and then we move to the next page so the next page has to do with the languages you speak you indicate your native language yeah, there are main, as many languages as you can think of so just look through it select the language which is native to you and then you can also move here and then you put in blocks for your foreign languages so and um, whatever foreign language you speak just indicate it here and you can insert as many blocks as you want to and then the next page has to do with your employment so this employment is kind of restricted so it's between um three years the past three years yes if you actually work for any paid or unpaid job voluntary or involuntary or if you're actually supported in a family business or job you can put all the details here and so just be sure to put it in there just make sure that they are within the past three years so you indicate the employer the type of business you mean you were teaching at a senior high school you put in the name of the school you were teaching as your employer um you also put in the business sector so if it's teaching that's in the um, education sector and then you put in the role or the position you held i mean if you're teaching that's a teacher your level of responsibility is up to the board level but i guess um how will you be on the board level for um, a work or a job you are doing after senior high school then here is another opportunity for you to sell yourself so you state what your responsibilities were and be sure to put in the skills that you've acquired so say you've acquired um multitasking skills team working skills um communication skills just put in all those skills here because i believe it's an opportunity for you to sell yourself and then all these other details are quite simple to fill and also there is the insert new block here so put in as many jobs as um, you've been into in this session also in this um tab you put in the career that you hope to pursue in future is very important so by now i think you should know what career you're aiming to pursue so just put it in here and then we can always save and move to the next page so i'll ignore this again so the next page has to do with any um hobbies you have club activities you've engaged you know extracurricular activities that you've done also if you've had the opportunity to do community service you put that also here now again this is an opportunity for you to sell yourself talk about what makes you unique and because you can't elaborate on them just be sure to put in as many as um you have don't falsify any information just be honest but whatever applies to you you put it in here so the nature of activity the organization name from when you started and when um you actually stopped or if you are currently um still um 
doing those kind of hobbies or club engagements or extracurricular activities just insert it here the community service aspect is very very important it doesn't necessarily have to be paid if it's voluntary or involuntary paid or unpaid just put them here whatever skills you have that makes you unique no matter how small or big you think they may be so put them here and you have the opportunity to insert as many blocks as you can so just explore this field and sell yourself so yeah she would like to know how you heard um about them and then also if you've attended any of their sponsored high school events i mean i should see what's an event like that she see innovation experience so if you've had the opportunity to attend that as well you can indicate that here so next page we talk about your residence which um here we are concerned with um if you've been able to travel outside of your home country so if you're Ghanaian and you've had the opportunity to travel outside of Ghana you can put in those countries here and here you are quite limited and you can insert at most four blocks so just put in um, the countries that I think are very important and relevant so you just click here you put in the country the purpose um, for which you went the whether it was so or for an internship or to see a relative or something just indicated there from when to when and if you are currently residing there too yes you can also put in that detail so we move to the next page and i think we are getting done so here is a checklist and um, very 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 important here are all the documents that you'll be needing um before you submit your application so note that ashesi needs your official results slip um here so if it's what you wrote you need to um present a copy of it so if you have a hard copy you can simply scan it if you have soft copy you upload it and there's a session for you to upload all of that here another thing that is required of you is also present your timely transcript from senior high school so from your first term first year and um, to your third term um third year that's if um you're Ghanaian and you went through the normal um senior high school government senior high school yes make sure that you get all the transcripts for all the terms and you actually upload it here as well and also you'll be writing two admission essays and the details are actually in the checklist tab here but note that you are supposed to write two admission essays and here like i mentioned earlier just be honest put in all relevant information make sure that your essay is rich and then your passwords which will and um, the standards were given in the um, profile detail so just go by that and make sure you upload that in this session as well then after that you attach a scan copy of your of the bio page of your passport that's um for only international applicants so if you're outside of ghana and you're applying here make sure you scan the copy of of the bio page of your passport and then you upload it also for everyone whether international or Ghanaian, you have to present a copy of a birth certificate or a coas card or your national identification card so all these are important documents that you are supposed to upload be sure to upload each and everyone that applies to you one thing that you should also note is that if you're applying for um, financial assistance you may do um this small um, what we mean is that you have to um, present one typed letter detailing reasons why you need scholarship from a session university. So you just type it and then you um, submit a copy here. And then you also provide um, supporting documents like the pay slips or the bank statement of your parents. That's for like at least three months. Yes. So those slips are very important from your mother or your father just to be sure that um, you actually need the help so these documents are very important if you are applying for uh, financial assistance from Ashesi University one advantage for the Ashesi University application is that um, you can apply with your awaiting results so if you are in senior high school or you just graduated and not have your results yet but you still want to apply you can still apply but be sure to um, submit all the other documents and then immediately your awaiting results are in you come back to the website and then you upload your results just be sure to upload it immediately they are released 
so this way you're going to be uploading all of those documents upload all of them anytime you click it will take you to um, your files and then you can upload just be sure that your upload is not up to 10 megabytes and all this are the file format in which you can actually upload and um, the file these are other formats also the word you can use it if you are typing your essay you can also use extra and powerpoint that's if there's anything in that format you want to upload so just upload all the documents go through them be sure that you've uploaded every single one of them that applies to you then we can move to the next page so this page has to do with financial aid but like i mentioned earlier i'll tackle this in a different video so um one thing i should just know from here is that if you do not need financial assistance just be sure to um, click on no and then you can just move on to the checklist session yeah so in the checklist session here it just helps you to check in um, all of your documents be sure that you filled all of the important sessions and then you've uploaded all the documents that you need to upload so in the um application details the was the need for english proficiency um test that's for people whose um language for tutoring was not in english earlier so if you were in a school where they were teaching in your local language or in a different language apart from english i should say actually teaches in english language so they would like you to be able to speak in english so you need to actually um provide proof of your english language proficiency and um, so that we know that or oh, we can actually um be able to understand the teaching in HSC University and also be able to read and write in English since that the language they are going to be tutored in here in HSC University so you just click on this and then you um, click on any of this that applies to you so if you have not yet taken it you click on that but just be sure you actually go and take it and um, if you need to and then you come and take it here if you do not need to take um, a language test because your local um, your language for tutoring in senior high school was in english you just click on this and then you can move on yeah so anytime you take you can see this tick here which means that you've actually um, resolved that part of the application and then there are some document formalities here when you read all of this just be sure to fill in all the necessary details do the same for your application fees for the actually university application you can apply you can fill in everything even if you do not have um the voucher or like if not um paid for the application fee yet but just be sure you pay for the application fee and then provide details of it in this session before you submit your application also for your personal essays make sure you go through this and then you have actually written all the essays so here are the prompts for the essays that you need to write one thing i should note about the essays is that um, every applicant is supposed to complete two admission essays that's for the admission part not for the scholarship part so the first one is compulsory and then you can choose between any of these three one of them yes so this compulsory and then you choose one from the three so in all you write two admission essays so the first one is said how can Africa's Kenyan leaders contribute to creating a thriving continent with equal opportunities for all in the next 50 years? As a prospective HSC student, what steps can you take to actively contribute to such a future? So that's a very, very, very good opportunity for you to share in your leadership skills with HSC University. Let them know what you understand by leadership. Let them understand the current state of affairs of our leaders in this continent. Go deep in your thinking. Bring out practical answers. Um, don't be so concerned about being reasonable. Just be creative in your thinking and explore all the leadership skills you have. Put them all in here and what steps you yourself can also take to ensure that what you are saying is achieved in the future so for all these cases i think you should take time to write them be sure not to use ai in writing because actually is strictly against um, using 
AI in writing your essays. Don't let the AI write the essay for you because Ashesi will definitely detect it. Also, avoid plagiarism. Um, yes, plagiarism means like basically copying someone's work or stealing um, someone's work. Yes, so just be sure to be authentic in what you are writing. Be creative. Just come out of your shell or your train of thinking and then just go deep think deeply bring out all the weird thoughts make them practical and then write the best that you can yeah so go through all of this this is compulsory choose any one of these three and write on them as well so here you put in um, your refugee status card and then your passport id yeah so with this i think we are done with all the applications so after filling all of this it's not a must for you to fill everything as you go so you can fill it at your own pace but just be sure that um, you are done with the whole application before the deadline yes so as i am done with all of this i would advise you come back to the first page read everything again go through all the sessions and be sure that you filled everything that you need to fill for the parts that are not compulsory i will still advise that as far as you have the information put in the details there so fill in everything and then when you are sure you've gone through all the process you can simply submit here so like i mentioned earlier i'm going to take you through how to apply for financial aid in my next video but if this is your first time here, kindly subscribe to my channel, stay connected with me and also like this video, leave a comment. If you have any questions at all, you can put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you on that. So it was nice having you here. I'm glad if you watched the video till this point and I hope it really helped you. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.